Hi everybody. Nowadays, businesses and corporations are becoming a mixture of more and more of on-premises and cloud applications. And this is called as hybrid identity. And for that reason, I have decided to upload this video to help uh, people here who are learning cloud or who want to know about cloud. Uh, but just to let you know, guys, that this is going to be a little bit of advanced video. So if you have not seen my previous video, which were basic, which was most like basic operations we did on cloud, then please watch it and then you can watch this one and you will find it very easy to understand this video. Okay, so uh, on this uh, or in this session, we're going to be migrating the on-premises Active Directory to the cloud of Microsoft Azure. Uh, rather, we're going to be syncing it on Azure. So this is my on-premises Active Directory on my computer. It's called uh, the domain uh, is uh, name is datum.abs360.com and this is my Azure portal uh, the first thing I would do is to make a search on the search bar for Active Directory so Active and then you will see something called Azure Active Directory here so if I click on that that will take me to a page of creating is this is like a wizard where you just define the configuration and the other stuff of your active directory so the, i'm creating a directory at the at this point and you know what so my uh, domain here is adatum.abs360.com so for that reason i'm just going to put my uh, organization name as adatum abs360 okay and then i'm going to I need to create a domain name here so whatever domain name I would provide that will be that would be the prefix of this by default now uh, remember Microsoft Azure is a public cloud computing uh, platform and we need to make sure that this domain name is unique on Microsoft so uh, let me try just uh, copying and pasting this so this might still be available for us so if I just paste it and click anywhere outside so it's in is checking yes so that is available good news and the next thing I would need to do is to choose a region and I will be choosing United Kingdom and all looks very good I'm gonna hit on create this will take approximately a minute so I'm going to pause my video here. Okay. So I've got the message now that the directory is successfully created. Now at this point, I'm going to log out and log back in on my portal. So I'm going to pause my video again and I'm just going to log out and log back. Okay, so now I have logged back in on my Azure portal. And the first thing I would do is on the left hand side, I will look for something called Azure Active Directory. So I can see it there. All I have to do is click on it. Now, remember, I already have got a default directory running. Uh, so this is not the name of that uh, domain. Remember the prefix I told you about earlier? This is not that name. But in that case, all I have to do is click on switch directory and i will click once i click on switch directory then i will click here it says that editum abs360 yeah this is the one we have just created right so if you click on that and now it's switching the directory now i am in i'm in that directory so all i have to do is click back here again on azure active directory and I will verify the name. So the name already you can see here is a datum ABS 360, which is great. So now we've got a directory up running and all we have to do is just to start defining the user. So if I click on user now, I would see a default user. So my my previous account was uh, created or my main account is created on this email ID. That's why this is there. But I would need to create an additional user and assign him the rights for global administrator here. So I would click on new 
but before that I would advise you to go back here on the name of your directory and you're gonna be copying something so let's copy this and you would know why in a minute so let's copy it and let's go back on users and let's click on new user okay so new user I'm gonna be calling my new user as global admin one and now the username would be the name of a user at my domain of my domain of my directory right so we just create we just copied something right so all I have to do is I'm gonna call it global admin again you know global admin one at and I'm just gonna paste it what I have copied I click outside and it should be right yeah okay cool so uh, then you have to define a name for your global administrator so let's call it Adam Hobbs Okay, so let's call it Adam Hobbs and the job title is Cloud Engineer and department is Azure. Okay, uh, now that is fine. Uh, you can click on OK. Properties you can't do much because if I click on here, uh, this is grayed out uh, just because the user would be sitting in Azure Active, Active Directory and yeah. So leave it as it is, leave the groups as it is. All we have to be worried about is this directory role because this is where you're gonna be creating this global admin as a global administrator, okay? So once you click on it, make sure you click in the middle one, global administrator, and you click okay. And finally, uh, Azure have already generated a password for you so if you can copy it click on there and then you click on here so you copy it and best idea to save it somewhere so i'm just gonna save it on my notepad and you know what i'm gonna save this name on my notepad as well the name yeah here so now uh i have yeah copy and pasted those names and password here and I can click on create here so now the user has been created it's there the first that the next thing would be just to log out log back in as a global administrator and the first ever time I would have to change the password of it okay so I'm just gonna log out okay so I have logged out and I I I typed uh, so every time you want to log in uh, or rather um, yeah, you, every time you want to sign in in Azure portal you type portal.azure.com so yeah it's easy to remember so once you sign out or log out you copy this this is your global administrator and you're gonna click on next the password again this is the auto generated password by Azure so I'm just gonna paste it and now it should ask me to create a new password yeah good so current password will go here and this is going to be the new password and let's sign in um, mm -mm. okay let's click on yes here okay so first time you sign in you'll get this message just say maybe later so now you are signed in as a global administrator okay so all I would need to do now is to verify in here if I click on in my Azure Active Directory I want to verify in users section just to make sure how many users are there so there are two users great I remember your global admin and this was my first ever main email ID to uh, for my Azure account really to open a Azure account okay so this is good now we're gonna go back here in our on-premises active directory and what we would need to do here we on this computer I would need to download something called uh, AD connect 
So, uh, okay. So all you have to do is Google AD Connect, and you can click something, uh, something called Download Microsoft Azure Active Directory. So once you click on it, you will go onto this page, and all you have to do is just just download it. So when you download it, I have already done it before, uh, before this video. So you download a file like that, then you run a setup of this file. Uh, once you set up. Once you finish the setup, it will install something called AD Connect. And then all you have to do is double click on it. Click on yes. And here all you have to do is uh, you can click on Express Settings. And first thing first, it is asking to connect to Azure Active Directory. So remember the username and password. So our username and password was this. This is the username for our global administrator and this is why we we created a global administrator account. So that's the one and the password is a newly defined which I have just changed it. And then I will click on next. Now, this is asking for, uh, in the next step, this is asking for connect to ADDS. So in here, I would, uh, I would need to put the username and password of the current Active Directory, or rather the administrator of the current Active Directory. Okay, so in here, I've got an account for Sam, or rather Samuel and he is the administrator of this current active directory so i will go back and i will just say samuel okay so i need to put the domain as well so let's say a datum a datum dot abs 360.com okay and i'm going to put the password for Samuel and all I'm gonna do is click okay now is not a member of enterprise admin okay okay data abs 360 let's try with administrator then okay so administrator is a built-in account so I tried with Samuel and probably I forgotten to add Samuel in the domain administrator account but administrator it's a built-in account for here so I'm gonna just click on next and now I'll get a message uh, you are very welcome to read the message read the message uh, but uh, you can just click on here and you can click on next so now it is saying that ready to configure blah 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 just read everything and click on install So while this is uh, this is happening, so basically this is now configuring and it's gonna sync to our Azure portal. While this is happening, I'm just gonna pause the video at this point. Okay, so let's see what's happening in there. So it is saying, okay, so you can see the message here saying, verifying synchronization service connectivity to Azure Active Directory, this is, literally it has found our account there and it is syncing everything up there it's just gonna take a little bit more time so i'm gonna pause the video okay let's have a look what's happening on my computer okay great so we've got a message here now saying configuration complete and you are very welcome to read all this but i'm happy with that message configuration complete so let's click on exit and let's go on our portal to verify what is actually happened here. So this is my portal, and I'm gonna I'm gonna click on here. So at the moment the page is not being refreshed. Yeah, we left it from last time as it is. So I'm gonna click on a datum. Okay, so now uh, we can. See on let me click on back here 
okay so now uh, what we need to do is to go and click on Azure Active Directory again and in here I would need to click on users just before I click on that I want to make sure that what users are sitting so I've got these users here called John McDonald Samuel and I've got these users are here called George Adams and Joe blogs so when I click on users and I should see brilliant so I can see uh, George Adams I can see Joe blogs John McDonald's and this uh, is there as well so uh, and these users they can now log in as well by a by using this credential so if I click on George, George for example John Adams so now from here I can reset his password and I I've actually you can explore what else you can do so today we have successfully migrated your on-premises users from your active directory to Asia okay so I've done 70 percent job for you but you know what I've, you have got my challenge now how would you migrate a particular OU in here your answer will be sitting somewhere in here somewhere in here in your computer in Azure AD connect uh, so yeah have a go on it and see if you can uh, if you can crack it yeah but I hope uh, you understand everything and I hope you enjoyed this video because this is really cool stuff I mean this is called hybrid identity when you migrate user from on premises to the cloud and this is what exactly we have done okay now you can do much more things in here you've got things like user settings and you can click on users and see what settings you can find you need to explore yourself here uh, you you need to also see what other settings you can find while you're syncing to Azure AD Connect there there is something called filtering as well which you need to figure out how you can do it yeah but this is again a little bit of basic of migrating user from on-premises to cloud and I hope you enjoyed it if you have any question doing this one uh, let me know by a message on LinkedIn I don't much read comments on my LinkedIn uh, but otherwise enjoy it